favorite season. So if you're looking for some merch, check your girl. Support the She Gets It podcast by getting you some merch. You know what I'm saying? You get some merch. You support. You get a little something, something out of it. You become a representative of affiliate for She Gets It podcast. And I have sweatshirts on there, hoodies, t-shirts, whatever you need is on the She Gets It shop. Shop with Teespring. I'll go ahead and put the link up. Let's get back to the show. What up, y'all? Welcome back to She Gets It Podcast. My name is Shan. As you know, welcome back to the show. Boom. And we out. Peace. It's like, I'm just joking. <laughs> I want to do that to you. Or oh, what up? Um, this is She Gets It Podcast. This is a podcast where I'm very honest. I'm very out the box. I promise you, you would never guess what my topics are before it hits you. All right. So today's um, topic that I want to focus on is back burner illusions of needs because we all need to back burner any illusions of needs for our sanity. There's so many things out here now. Everything is always popping up that's new, improved. Uh, you have to get it in order to be the latest, in order to be the greatest. You have to have this. All the greats have this. Everybody that's in this industry has this. You need this. You need this camera. You need this lens. You need um, this tool. You need this resource. You need to have this person here. You need to have this type of person here. You need to go see this type of lawyer. Like Everything is given to us in a marketed way for us to need it. Even people. Even people. Okay? Desires to have or be something that is not needed to live truthfully is a want. These things are also illusions of needs because if you don't need it to live, you can do without it. If you don't need it to um, grow, you can do without it. If it's not progressive and it's not something of investment, meaning when you initially get it the first day, on the 10th day, if it's not worth more, then you're losing. On the next month, if it's not worth more, then you're losing. On the next year, if it's not worth more, then you're losing. So if what you're spending, buying, consuming is not greater over time, like wine, you are losing, okay? And we don't need to be out here losing. We need to be out here gaining, growing, and um, focusing on the things that are helping us persevere, are helping to push our families, are helping to push our friends. Are you even pushing your friends? You know your friend better than sometimes that they know themselves because you see them from afar. You see them from a distance. You can, you know, see your friend, especially in this pandemic, COVID-19. You could see your friend three months ago and go see them next week and be like, hey, is everything okay? You know, from the last time I saw you, you look a bit more sad. Looks like you're losing a lot of weight. Looks like you're gaining weight. You know, your face looks a bit bigger on this side. Have you, you know, looked at that? Is is it hurting you? Have you seen a doctor? Um, You look like you're limping. You know, things that people wake up every day and look at themselves in the mirror can't see. You know, they know who you were, how you were three months ago. And if they see you next week and you're not moving in the same way, they're going to notice. And that's good or bad. But to me, if they're noticing something, something is always changing. And if something is always changing, you have to do things to change with it. Because you can sit there and be like, I'm not doing this. I don't want to do this and I'm not doing that. But time is still going to tick. The days are still going to come. And to me, 
if you want a better situation and you want change to happen, you're going to have to do some things that require you to change. If you want other things to change, it's just like a domino effect. You want this to change in your future? What are you going to change today to hit the thing to change your future? You know, it's, 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 it's not a chemistry equation. I ain't got to be the smartest, but I know if I move, something else in the future is going to move for me. And that's how we need to look at our needs versus our wants long term. You know, if I'm looking to uh, start a big business, is it smart for me to keep shopping and buying frivolous things that are not pouring into my business? No, that's not smart. If I get a credit card and the max of my credit card is 20000 is it smart for me to buy something that's worth or, or cost 18000 No, it's a credit card. It's not your cash money. You're not going to own this money that you're going to be spending. You're borrowing it with interest. If if I get a home loan for 400k, is it smart for me to go out and buy a house that's <coughs> 390,000? dollars No. You like there's ways to figure out what you could do w- with with the money, the time, the resources, the the people around you. And, and and also provide for yourself, provide for your needs. Like if you're confused, I'll do my needs and my wants with you. Okay? I'll put my ass out here on Front Street. <laughs> okay? So most people will struggle in life just because they do not know the differences between uh needs and wants, okay? So my biggest list, of course, is always going to be my wants. Realistically, everyone's human list, if they have an opinion, just like they have a butthole, is going to be longer, bigger, always growing on the want side. Your needs are always going to be smaller. Okay? So let's do my needs. My needs are, I need a legal vehicle. I need to make sure as a black woman, if a policeman pulls me over a policewoman, the only thing that's happening during that conversation is a warning or a minor ticket. Not, ma'am, do you have a license? No, but I meant to get one. That don't mean shit. You about to lock me up. You about to take my kids. Ma'am, do you have insurance? Mmm, that's what I forgot to pay. No, ma'am. You about to get locked up. You about to get this ticket. And your insurance about to be high as hell. So I need a legal vehicle. I own my car. There is no car payments on that thing. Would I like my car to be newer, better, bigger, possibly a Jeep? Hell the fuck yeah. But does my car run? Yes. Uh, Can I put gas in my car? Yes. Can I afford the gas in my car? Yes. Can my kids fit in my car? Yes. Does it have a trunk? Yes. Would I like certain things in my car to work? Hell yeah. But does some things in the car not work? Hell yeah. Needs versus wants, man. I need. I need a comfy home. Why? Because that's where my sanity lies. If I'm working, I'm I'm running errands, I'm being a mom, I'm trying to focus, I'm trying to create, and my home is not comfortable, none of those things are going to happen the way that it should. Okay? Nobody's going to be happy around me because my core is unsettled. It's not correct. It's not organized. I need to pay this rent or I have nowhere to live. My kids have nowhere to live. Um, And yeah, I need to pay this rent. So that's a need. I need music to process my thoughts. Maybe when I was younger, it was a want, but I need it because I have involved music in the way that I move about my moods, my functions, okay? So it's just something that I need. I need to have access to it. I need to hear what I want to hear when I want to hear it. Um, And sometimes I need music and I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to talk. I don't want to do anything else. I just want music. 
I need something to match my current mood, okay? That's a need for me. I need to have groceries because my kids don't know when to stop eating. It is now 1238 a.m. and my six-year-old is in my kitchen eating something. Um, And she has my pantry open, which I don't even know why she has my pantry open. Then my three-year-old leaves the room to come out on the couch and lay on my couch. Like, I need to be able to fill my home with groceries and things for my children to eat, things that I can eat, um, to to make sure everything's running correctly and nobody's needing to have something in their stomachs that they can't have. That's a need. <sighs> Unfortunately, I need to pay my phone bill. I think it's an abomination for any mother to be out here paying a phone bill. But yes, I need to pay my phone bill because I need to use my phone. I need to have access to the things in my phone in order to communicate to other people, okay? I need my utilities paid so I can wash these kids' dirty clothes and my clothes and my towels so I can clean my house and see my floors and see what's dirty. I need the lights. I need the heat. I need... uh people to come pick up my trash because I'm always throwing things out. Like, I need that. I need laundry soap. I love laundry soap. I'm sorry. All y'all fragrance free. Um, uh, no dye people. That's cool. That's cute. I'm always into trying a new soap. Right now, I'm trying a new soap. Um, uh, what is it? What is the new soap I'm trying? It's a, I think it's an ivory um, new soap. I mean, it smells okay, but I really like a strong, fresh scent. That's just me. So I need to be able to buy laundry soap. And I don't mind if the laundry soap that I want to buy is big with a coupon and I pay less and I get more. Okay? Um, I like that too. Shout out to Target. Shout out to Walgreens. Um, what else? What else? Well, I need, I need peace. Peace is a big thing for me. If I'm not at peace, ain't nobody else going to get peace. And you might get my peace if you know what I mean. So I need to be at peace. And me being at peace would be avoiding people that I don't have to take care of. Um, Being in my house, not talking to people, um, being in my zone, creating, uh, needing space away from my children sometimes, Um, being in my car and driving to nowhere I necessarily have to be, but I just want to be here by myself. I need that. That keeps me balanced, centered, whatever you call that. I need more money saved all the time. Why? Because I am a woman. Um, I am single. I am a single mother. I have two daughters who are always wanting things, needing things, and have lots of hair. I have lots of hair. And I just, I need more money is not going to cure all my problems in life, but it sure does help move a lot of problems out my life. So I need access. I need opportunities to come through in order for me to make money. FYI, shout out to Anchor um, for for allowing me to uh, make money off of my shows. Um, so Anchor FM, thank you for that. Now that you have stopped sponsorships because you're blending with um, Spotify, I don't know what the hell you're doing. So now I am on Red Circle as my main platform that distributes my show. Um, you still can find my show on Anchor FM, but they're not distributing my show anymore. Um, I just need to make sure the time that I'm spending to do my shows can also be monetized in the right way, can also reach an audience that needs to reach for the future opportunities it needs to get, okay? Smart moves, not dumb moves, okay? Um, I want to thank also Stereo App for coming up with the idea to provide another way for people to communicate on social media and um, Stereo App with Greg. Greg, for even bringing it to my attention. What's up, um, my pod fam? Like, just talking, communicating with uh, different talented people, people with a great worth ec- worth work ethic. Say it. I said it. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for just, like, letting me know about the opportunity to, one, do a show, 
to be able to download it and monetize it a, a second way. And three, get paid off of the show that I wanted to talk about, the topic that I wanted to talk about anyway. So if you are a creator, if you just have something to say, if you're just a smart individual and you know how to jog people's mind in conversation, get your ass. Get your ass on this goddamn app before it poofs and it's gone and it's on to the next thing. Because... If your discussion is intriguing, um, is motivating, it's getting people to talking, you will be making the money to go ahead and fund other projects that you need to do. So shout out to, to Greg, Mr. Al Sharp Tongue. <laughs> What's up? Hit his Twitter. And um, just keep being your authentic self because um, you're like a window for people who are not afraid of work. You know what I'm saying? I've never been afraid of work. I've been working since I was 16 years old, um, sometimes three jobs a year, even when I was in high school full time. Listen, I worked more than I slept in my 20s, period. OK, now that I'm in my 30s and, you know, I have kids, I can't have three jobs at one time, <laughs> you know, but at least I could keep two. And I could be a mother and I can do my best to be a good mother and um, guide and be, uh, be, um, what's the motherfucking word you're looking for, Chantal? Um, present. I could be present, you know, and uh, I appreciate that about myself. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I am talking to myself, my motherfucking business. Um, what's the next need? The next need that I have that I must have is... My mama goddamn Fridays. Like, I need my sanity. My mama Fridays is really all about me just being with me. Nobody else but me. Sometimes it might be other people, but not all day. Because being a mother is motherfucking taxing. I like the fact that I'm a mom. But do I want to be a mom 24-7 every day, every week, every month, every year? No! So if I could get a day out of the week for at least nine hours to be with just myself, I get rid of my kids and I do that. And that's very important for me because I can tell when my frustration is coming in because... My kids are very needy and demanding. I can tell when my frustration is coming in because I'm tired of repeating myself. I can tell when my frustration is coming in because I cannot think about just the things I need and the things I want to do. I have to have the brain for a six-year-old. I have to have the brain for a three-year-old. I have to have the brain for a mom first before Chantal first. And it's very hard some days and people outside of me look at me and they think oh she's great at this no I'm I'm good at this sometimes I'm okay at this sometimes but sometimes I'm sure I get it wrong and sometimes I'm sure I get on my kids nerves and I'm sometimes sure that you know you really messing up today but the reality is I need my Fridays for me for a few hours to be fair, <laughs> you know, that's the need for me. Figure out what's the need for you. I need my motherfucking deposit from these people at this old ass rinky dink ass condo. I moved um, the end of last month and these people still haven't given me my deposit. What is a hold up? You're running my, my money and then some for reasons I can't talk about because they got to run me my money. And the agreement is once they run me my money, I cannot speak about why they're running me extra money. But you're running me extra money. And y'all need to be easy out here, especially in states where how owners of properties have motherfucking properties that they really don't give a fuck about and you are on the lease and they don't take care of it and they don't take care of you as a tenant. Legally, there's no legal um, 
thing that you can report to any type of housing in certain states and you need to be mindful of that when you are renting because a lot of these landlords are a piece of shit. A lot of these um, companies out here who have properties are a piece of shit. And that's just your tip of the day from She Gets It Pod. All right. So those are my needs, okay? Wasn't very long. Didn't take me three hours. Let's get into these motherfucking wants. I want more shoes. Do I need more shoes? Hell no. Nah. I want more candy. Do I need more candy? Hell no. Nah. I'm making my motherfucking dentist rich. But you know what? I'm down for the sucking and bobbing in my 60s. You know, if it's going to go down that way, it's going to go down that way. I want more hoodies. Do I need more hoodies? No. I only got two breasts, two arms, one head, uh, one body. Do I need more hoodies? Hell no. Nah. But do I like more hoodies? Yes. Because sometimes I do just want to ch- throw these titties in a hoodie. Not in a bra, not in a shirt. I want to throw these titties in a hoodie and I want to put it on like something slightly over it so you don't see my nipples get hard and I want to go. So I like hoodies and I like new hoodies because they're softer on the inside and they rub my nipples in a certain way where I'm happier on my face because of that. Not because I just see you, but because I'm happier because I'm feeling this thing while I'm wearing this new hoodie. So mm, that's a want. More hair products. Do I have two conditioners in the house yes would i like another conditioner because it has a different scent yes i don't need that i want that i buy more dresses i have so many dresses in my closet with tags on it where do you go chantal nowhere who are you going on a date with chantal no one when are you gonna wear these dresses chantal i don't know maybe next summer next spring (laughs) Like, I have to tell myself, you don't need that. I, um, as a child, figured out that my mom wasn't going to discipline any of her kids. She just wanted to pop them out her coochie, which is cool. Okay. Right? And I also had to realize that my mom didn't want to discipline me as a child. She wanted to discipline me as a teenager. Um, And she was just very, like, flow with it. I'm not that as a parent. So, as a child... I became my own disciplinarian. And as an adult, I am still my own disciplinarian. So when I see things that I want, I might hold on to it, push it in the cart, you know, babysit it while it's in the store. Once I get near the register, I said, Chantal, you don't need this. Save that money. And I'll put it back. I do that. I do that now. Every time I go to the store. Home Goods. (laughs) I left Home Goods this week with two journals did I need those journals hell no one of them was for a friend why because I love her and she's having a year from hell um so you know it's all about self-control and knowing thyself okay um more plugins I I always want more plugins I have a thing with smells before I leave this earth I will have my own perfume I will have my own home smell and I will have my own um, Caroline of body wash and um, face uh, scrubs that have a particular scent that I like. That has always been a goal for me, a bucket list for me, and I will do it. Mark my motherfucking words. I have a thing with smells, so I do like my home to smell like somebody loves it. So, do I buy plugins? Yes. Do I need to keep buying plugins? No. Do I like that downy smell? Hell yeah. Do I like that fresh? clean linen laundry smell hell yeah and when i can buy them i buy them and if i find a coupon that's gonna get got too. more candles when i tell you you would think i'm having sescapades up in here because when i see a candle and it's big and it's round and it's in a cute jar and it smells good it's coming with me is that a problem it can be it can definitely be a problem But then again, I do have to check myself. I would like more socks. Why do I want more socks? I don't know. But I would like more socks. I would like a Jeep because I am five foot one on my license is five foot two. That is a lie. Um, I have issues in cars where I'm short and the sun is directly shining in my face. And I do have sunglasses that are polarized that are supposed to help with the sun and the glare and all of that 
it doesn't do shit for me because the sun is directly in my face. I used to have a truck and I liked the fact that the sun couldn't directly come in my face and I was higher up and I could move my seat higher to make me feel like, hey, you just got taller. I want that shit the fuck back. I don't like cars. I don't like being low to the ground. I don't like my kids being able to access me in a vehicle closer than they need to. Um, and I would like to be sitting higher up. So I do want a Jeep. I will have a Jeep. Mark my motherfucking words. Um, I would like two dogs. Do I need two dogs? No. Why? Because dogs are like children. Okay, they're needy. They don't tell you thank you. Um, they shit and piss places. They bite things. They tear up things. They run away. You have to find them. Uh, they have to go to the doctors. It's cost. But I do want two dogs. I want a Sharpay and I want a Rottweiler. And if I can't have a Rottweiler, I would like a Great Dane. Yes, I do know that the maximum that they live is probably like seven years. But I just like those dogs. And I don't believe in having small dogs because what is that small dog going to do for me while I'm feeding it and take care of it? Okay? Wants. Um, I would like, I want an island for my kitchen because it has room enough to have an island in it. But there's no island in there, so I would like one with wheels on it. Possibly a gift for somebody in the future who hears this who would like to donate me I got them island for my kitchen it's like a chopper style chop chop chopper style all up in my kitchen okay <clears throat> I would like more self time my self time consists of me sometimes possibly being up late hours at night hopefully my kids are asleep which only one of them is asleep and the other one is over here curled up on the floor on a laptop um, tomorrow's the last day of her. Well, today is the last day of her being six years old. So this will be interesting. But yeah, I would like more self time. I don't really get a lot of self time. And, um, I would like some more of that. I'm not somebody where, let's say friends come into town. Um, pod fam comes into town. It's just like, we need to, we need to, you know, catch up. We need to, you know, meet up. I ain't got nobody here that I could leave with these kids. Like, certain stuff like that, I feel like, blocks me. Um, especially in this COVID shit. Like, I'm, I can't just hire any rinky-dink-ass babysitter to come in my house and watch my kids because I want to go out and be an adult. Like, no. And um, shit like that parks me as an adult. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a going-out type all the time either. Never been. That's not my cup of tea. I like to be around the energies that feed me. But um, I would like the option of being able to go somewhere if I wanted to go. You know, I don't like putting possible dates on reserve for whenever I have an opportunity. I don't like that, but that's something that I have to do because <clears throat> my life is very solo in many ways and uh, more ways than one. I would like more money. That is a want for me. Um, I would like more laughs. I love to laugh. More laughs is always definitely needed. I want more picture frames. Why? I don't know. I fucking love pictures. I love seeing pictures. I love art. I love putting art in picture frames. That like that's my thing. I think um this whole generation of everything's digital and um you know a whole bunch of less. Make your house look naked and cold like nobody actually lives here, but people do live here and let's hide everything. I feel like it it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't let somebody walk into your home and and know who you are by how your home feels, looks, smells, um and the energy your home gives. So I'm very expressive in my home. You come into my home right now, you would think I wasn't living here for the last five years and I just moved in last month, the end of last month. So um, that is just who I am. So more picture frames is always a thing for me. I love taking pictures. Low key, high key, I should have went to college for photography, um, but I didn't, but it's never too late. Uh, so yeah. New sponges. I fucking love when I buy new sponges to wash my dishes. I 
a person that loves washing dishes by hand. I do not like using a dishwasher. The only time I run my dishwasher is to clean the dishwasher, not my dishes. I like washing and scrubbing my dishes by hand. Why? That's just something I do. I like it. Okay. Um, want. I want better merch. I'm always searching for websites that have better merch to offer people um, when it comes to the shows, when it comes to She Gets It, when it comes to Cozy Womb Pod, when it comes to Mama's Cozy Closet, when it comes to whoishan.com, when it comes to Let's let's Shop Be for uh, So What Page Be On Be podcast. I'm always looking for better, um, for newer, for smarter, for um, just like innovative and I'm always wanting better like why wouldn't you want better I want better health I want a bigger tv do I need a bigger tv no because I really I don't really don't watch tv but I would like a bigger tv I've had this tv for like five years and a bigger tv would be cute I want another sofa do I need another sofa no my living room is big enough for two sofas I would like another sofa and, um, yeah, so, you know, it's all about being honest about your wants and your needs. And that's what's going to help you be a better individual. Because if I want to save more money, I got to put some limits on these wants. If, uh, you know, I want to buy a house, invest in a property, I can't keep going on five, six vacations in a year. To look like I got it all. No, I want to... The only time I want to look like I got it all is when I really in life got it all. Okay? And that means I got it all paid. It's not borrowed. It's not credit card swipe. It's paid for. My kids' education is paid for. My kids' needs are paid for. Owned. Walk away with it. Do whatever with it. Um, <laughs> pain on it. Like it's yours. Like to me, the ultimate freedom is mental freedom. Like not feeling like you have the burden of school debt. I don't know what that feels like, but every time somebody posts like they made their last school loan um, payment, I'm just like, fuck, what does that feel like? It's kind of like, um, when you were young before you ever had sex and you just hear everybody talking about it. What does that feel like? And then you do and it's like, fuck, this shit is so disappointing. <laughs> but I just know by the time I pay off my school debt, it won't be disappointing. It will feel like a oh, weight is off of me. Like there's no longer anybody chasing my ass. And you know I can't run with these big ass titties. Like stop chasing me. Like you see me with these kids and they always hungry and they're always needing things. If I had the money, don't you think I would pay it? Like realistically, when you have fucking money, you ain't complaining about bills. You ain't complaining about how much something costs. You pay it. You pay it. Here, pay it. Here, give me a receipt. No problem. Thank you for your services. Like, you pay that shit when you have the money. It's the times when you don't really have opportunity coming in to make this money back twice. And it costs this much where you be hating to spend the money. Like, I literally hate paying for a fucking phone bill every month that I know is coming up, that I know is going to be this amount. And I will wait until the last hour of the day that I need to pay a phone bill and pay it with the pettiest punching and the pettiest clicks. And I will I will complain every time I have to pay that fucking phone bill. But I pay it because I know a lot of my life and opportunities and resources require me to have a phone that is functional so i know i've been running my mouth um this episode but it's just very important to know your needs versus your wants and if you find yourself booing up and taking someone serious to grow with you need to honestly have a conversation about what are your needs and what are your wants and if you two match 
and mesh together on that level, then I say move forward together. But if your person that you like, that you think is really great, does not know the differences between needs and wants, that's going to create a riff between the both of y'all later on. So please, 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 please know what the hell your needs and your wants are so you can be better people, so you can start sacrificing for your future, so you can start sacrificing for your kids' future. And don't look at sacrifice as in, I'm going to suffer and not enjoy my life for the sake of something else that I'll only be able to enjoy this amount of time. You're looking at it the wrong way. It's an investment. You're putting your money into something that'll pay off longer, that'll look better when you get there, that'll, um, you know, prove to you that you did the right thing. And I'm not telling you to not enjoy life, Learn ways to enjoy life within your means in the process. But we have to know the difference between our needs and our wants. My name is Shan. Um, Hopefully, I have said something to strike a nerve, to make you move and change something, because that's what I do. That's what I want to do. And uh, thank you for listening to the show. Please share. Please add me on Twitter, on um, IG. On the stereo app, She Gets It Pod. A lot of people struggle with pronouncing it. It's She Gets It Pod. It has to be together because it has to be together. But thank you so much. And don't be stunted by everybody else seeming like they have it together. Everybody else getting their wants. No, they struggled and they had to do their needs for a long time. And they figured out a way to make their lifestyle pay for their wants. And that should be everybody's goal. You don't have to work forever, but you have to work smart to figure out a way to have work that pays for the lifestyle you want to live. Period.